Hi, this is Rachel with Pure Photoshop Actions, and I just wanted to do a quick uh, tutorial today um, about just basically a really quick, clean edit um, and good ways to get there. Um, kind of my uh, my workflow, and um, you can always kind of look at this and get an idea of where to start. And obviously, there's loads of different ways to come up with a, a good, clean edit. Um, anyway so I'm just gonna start with this um, image that I shot at the time I don't think I had a gray card um, so it's not white balanced perfectly and uh, it's a little underexposed to save all the details in her dress um, so there's stuff to be done here but overall I like the image I like where they're at and and all of that so um, anyway I think that this would be a good image to kind of show some good clean editing on. Um, I think we'll also do a little bit with masking and a little bit and discuss what the masks mean. Um, okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to come over here and, you know, it's just kind of a, the image is a little bit cool, I feel, um, because, uh, see how his skin, it looks almost, you can see kind of some purplish, bluish color in the skin. It's not a normal skin tone. It doesn't look very comfortable. So I'm going to warm this up once, and actually I think it could stand a second time, maybe at, I don't know, about, that's, I think that looks pretty good. That starts to look, that looks more like a nice, normal skin tone. So, and look what it's really done for the flowers, too. Let's turn these off. They just look kind of boring and dull. They have kind of a grayish-blue cast. They look more vibrant now, and the background looks more vibrant. Everything looks a little more vibrant, and I like that. I also see here along her arm, uh, along her hand, along her shoulder a little bit, maybe even in her hair, uh, there's some green, see along his shoulder area, because the light is filtering through all these trees, it's bouncing up all of, off all of this green, so again, that's a color that, you know, I don't really want all over them, so I'm going to come down to Green Eyed Monster. I'm going to run it, but I don't want them that magenta because now they look sunburned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this mask. Clicking it, make sure it's selected with brackets. Uh, make sure that that is the active selection. I'm going to click Control and I, and look. So it turned my mask black. So now they've lost that sunburn look, but this isn't really showing anywhere. So what I need to do is I need to come over here. I'm going to press B to select my brush key, and I'm going to look right here. Uh, at my palette, look at these different swatches, and right now if you press D it'll bring them back to your default, mine are already at the default, and I'm going to press X so that white is on the top, because I'm going to paint with white. Um, I don't think I need 43% opacity, I'm going to bring it to about 19. Um, also I'm painting with 0% hardness, I really prefer this, um, although if you can tell, see I'm going to bring this in a little bit, this is a little bit too big, uh, this brush. So I'm pressing my bracket keys. I'm pressing uh, my left bracket key. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to kind of paint this in. You can see it's bringing it in on the mask here. I'm going to say, okay, we'll make sure it's not in her hair, uh, not on his face, not on his coat. Brushing that green off of his coat. Her skin, this shadow is a little green. Um, Okay, there we go. I feel like we've gotten rid of a lot of the the green on them. Let's see, so before, you can kind of see the green in the shadows in the hair on the suit, right here and there. It's brought it, so it's just a nice, she's got a nice clean white dress. Her hair doesn't have any green, he doesn't have any green in his suit. Their skin is a nice normal skin tone. So. I really like that. I think we've gotten that to a nice, clean place color-wise. I'm going to close this. We're going to say, you know what, we're good there. You can um, take snapshots, too, of different uh, spots in your editing. Um, but I feel like we've gotten this image to a good, clean place color-wise. This is where these are the tones I want it to be. So now I'm going to work on some exposure. Um, so I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to do Turn Out the Lights Baby. And I'm going to do a little bit of Sunshine Baby. So, again, I like my settings of my brush. So I've got my brush. I'm going to use my uh, right bracket key. And as you can see, like the sun is kind of coming in from this direction. This is where the light's coming in. So I'm going to follow that and paint 
this light on them. So it feels kind of natural. Uh, it also kind of brought up this background, so it feels a little brighter. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, so we've got that. And then I'm going to bring this, though, actually, and I'm going to deepen these tones here. Kind of deepen these up. Uh, come around here. Sort of like a, a gentle vignette. I don't really like a really strong, obvious vignette, but I like to draw the eye into this couple. I'm going to make this a little smaller, and I'm going to even like make some little light trails. There we go. Okay, so I like that because now we go from here's before. Uh, it's kind of blah, and they kind of blend in because they're a little dark. So we pop them, and then we bring the emphasis onto them. So I like that for exposure, um, especially because I just want all these deep colors, these greens and things to really kind of pop and shine. Uh, but I want them to to uh, be the center stage. Um, okay, so I feel like we've kind of gotten our canvas here to a good, clean place in terms of uh, exposure and color. And those are, I think, the most important things because if we're going to run something like a color pop, um, we want to make sure that we have good color to start with because if we don't, what we're going to end up with is we're going to be popping that bluish skin or that green tones in the skin. And that's really not what we want to do. We want to really uh, make sure that we have a strong image to start with. And that's where a lot of these kind of basic actions are going to come in uh, so we can clean it up and say, okay, this looks good. We've got a fresh palette to start with. Um, if they were a little bit closer, I mean, I guess I can run it right now. But usually what I do is on a closer image, I'm going to come through and I'm going to run Soft and Sparkly Baby. Um, because again, I just want to have a nice clean palette so we get their skin to where we want it to be. So I come down to the soft skin, paint it on just a little. These guys are kind of far away, so it's not really so much of an issue. But there, we do skin. Then we go through, we do eyes. And I'm going to just paint the details, like make them pop a little. So okay, there we go. We've got that. Uh, very nice. And you know, then we can say, okay, let's do something fun. Uh, maybe we can do, look at that color baby. So there we go, we run that. Uh, okay, so again, here we are talking about a mask. Again, this mask is white, which means that everything here is going to show through. I'm going to turn down the color pop a little bit because I, I just don't want it to like block up all of my blacks. So what I'm going to do really quick here is I'm going to select, now I have my brush tool, B key again. I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, so we're using we have our right bracket key to make it bigger. I don't want to paint white on the white mask. It won't do anything. So we're going to, again, X key is going to give me, there we go, X gives me, it switches those so I have black. I'm going to kind of paint out some of these areas with the pop that are maybe like blocking up the color because I just don't want those blocks of black. So there we go. We just kind of block, you know, took those off. And then I want their skin definitely. I'm really going to heavily mask that off because I don't want their skin really popped because um, it gives it a sunburned look. It just kind of gives it a ruddy, yucky look. So I prefer personally to, uh, there we go, to kind of mask that off. So there we go. Uh, we could stop here and say that looks good. Maybe I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm going to come over to Time Warp Baby and there we go. I'm not going to use it at full strength because um, it's a little too strong, I think, at full strength. But maybe about 30% or so. You still get the pop, but it just kind of warms it up even a little more. gives it a little contrast. And I think it just kind of gives the skin tones a really nice look. So to me, I really, 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 really like this picture. Um, I feel like it's kind of where I would like to, you know, say, okay, I feel really happy about this. Uh, let's go back to the history. I have a snapshot, like, well, because this is what it looked like before I cropped it. And I used, I didn't want to spend all the time, you know, show you, okay, we're going to crop it, we're going to straighten it, and we're going to use content aware fill to take out this bench. So that's what we did. We cropped it, we straightened it, content aware took out the bench. So this is where it was before. And there it is after, and it's just a few simple steps. Um, again, really trying to utilize those masks that we have, uh, that we've left open. All of these masks, uh, you can use them on so many of the images, and when you avail yourself of, of that 
of those masks, either painting the white on the black to make the masks more, uh, or to paint in little details, or using a black brush on a white mask to kind of mask out little things that maybe would be problematic, that's just going to take your images to the next level because it's going to make them, uh, it's going to make that action more individualized and it's going to uh, really just use the actions on the places in the image that can really benefit from the action and save the rest of the image from areas that maybe w are not going to benefit from having extra attention from the action. Uh, anyway, I would encourage you to always kind of try to look at masks and see what you can do with those. Anyway, thank you so much. This is Rachel from Pure Photoshop Actions. Goodbye.